I will not condemn or support individuals on matters of conscience. Homosexuality is not a matter of conscience, it's a matter of fact. Uh, people's views on it are a matter of conscience, and you know that. Aren't they just um, homophobic, these hundred MPs? That's what it looks like to me. They just don't like gay people. Well, let's just understand that we just accept people who are gay and not well, have any well, argument about it. Well, I think sacrament of marriage is one that is defined by the church, not by the state, uh, and the sacrament of marriage is available to a man and a woman. This is the teaching of the Catholic Church, which I accept. Right, but can you see that that, that is a problem uh, for many people? Um, if you are going to be uh, a senior politician, you already are a senior politician, if you count leading uh, the ERG, the group of 60 or 70 MPs, that you hold those views about some of your colleagues um, who want to be married and no, are gay. No, I make no criticism of any of my colleagues, but do you believe in religious tolerance? I do. So why do you pick on this view of the Catholic Church? I'm, I'm just asking you. Well, I'm now asking you. Why do you pick on the views of the Catholic I'm Church not, and say I'm that you picking, can't hold these I'm in modern not, politics? I'm not saying you it's can. Exactly I'm saying that there are people who might have a problem with it. You're saying that tolerance only goes so far and that you should not well, be tolerant okay. of the teaching of the Catholic Church. So isn't is it, this stretching into religious bigotry? Except, now, here we are arguing about this. What is actually going on here is, that it, is, is, is not a, a liberation of, of homosexuals. It's an attempt to impose on the whole of society a new bigotry under which those who happen to hold the opinion that homosexual marriage should not take place will not just be excluded from the center of things, they will increasingly be hounded and treated as pariahs, just in fact as homosexuals were treated before the 1967 law was rightly repealed. There is an immense, furious liberal, liberal bigotry expressed actually by Mr. Self earlier on this evening when he said, yes, we when he said quite you. falsely, he said, <laughs> we will he, said, he said quite falsely that people who were against homosexual marriage didn't like homosexuals. This extremely unpleasant lie is repeatedly told by those who do not wish to debate this subject and who would hound anybody who's thrown their way out of it with abuse and lies. All right. And this is the problem which Sorry. our country faces. There is a new liberal Peter, victory you have a which will with not this, tolerate. Don't propose will to not a gay tolerate, man. Will not tolerate. Will not tolerate. Will not tolerate. And, 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 and increasingly wishes to suppress conservative teaching. I am ve very, very concerned that a new sort of liberal morality is coming in, which, as I said, is as intolerant, is as oppressive, as intrusive into family life. For example, the couple um, who were running, the, we, we've had a lot of cases like this, there were the couple who were running um, some sort of hotel, who were Christians, and didn't want a gay couple to sleep there. Now, the way to do that is not to ban them, not to find them, it is for them simply to put up what seems to me to be a quite proper notice in a small, privately run hotel, which says, we are Christians and this is what we believe. And, you know, otherwise, we are, as I said, we're producing a new do you think we're going to be arresting you in, in toilets, Peter, and, and subjecting you to kind of aversion electroshock therapy in order to get you out of your Do you know what, Will? I think that, the time, think that the, time, the time is coming when people who have conservative Christian opinions will, in, will actually face will actually face persecution for one kind or another. It hasn't come yet, but the problem is that we have become so willing in this country, and conventional wisdom has become so willing, to accept the, the liberal majority and the ideology of equality and diversity, which is now compulsory in all public services in this country, which you have to abide by to work in the public services, all right. that the freedom to speak and think otherwise let's, is increasing. Let's move on to another question. Yes, it is. Thank you, Peter. Let's move on.